the current planning regime is not delivering what we all agree, whether it's in the national planning policy framework or in lots and lots of local plans, it is not delivering on the outcomes that we say we want. When we consider planning applications, we often have uh, a very short time scale, very limited window, often only 21 days to respond. And that really isn't long enough. So we need to be front loading. We need to look at earlier in the system of how we're influencing uh, that new development. When blobs are going on maps, are they actually going in places that would support an easy and attractive walk to everyday needs? GIS capacity is mixed. Over half have GIS resources within their team, but 24% are using Google Maps or some other similar method to manually check proximity. My name is Robin Lovelace. I'm the principal investigator on the ActDev tool. ActDev is the result of a collaboration between the University of Leeds, Cycle Streets, Planet, which provides planning data, and the AB Street traffic simulation software. What's great about the tool is it provides data at the site level, at the level of routes, at the level of even down to route segments, and even at the level of individual people walking and cycling in and around the new development site. So this is one of our case study sites. This is the Leeds Climate Innovation District. This is a new housing development close to the centre of Leeds. And on the left, we've got some key information about the site. So at the moment, lots of people are working in Leeds city centre. You can see many of these journeys are less than three kilometres and already lots of people are travelling to work by foot. You can also see a simulation in more detail showing how people are likely to be travelling on the local road networks. Using the AB Street traffic simulation, we can get a more detailed understanding of how individual people move around the site. For instance, around Poundbury, we see cyclists and drivers sharing a lane to reach Dorchester. But what if we could change the two major roads to be one way and have some dedicated space for cycling? Repeating the simulation, we see the two types of traffic are now safely separated. We can explore some consequences of these changes, watching how some people now detour through these north-south roads to change their direction. We can also verify that the change doesn't radically alter the travel time in aggregate and examine what's happening for individuals. AB Street's design allows anybody to explore these sorts of changes without any professional background in transport planning and imagine a future with more active travel. I asked, you know, what's stopping your local authority from being able to put things in? The biggest answer was a lack of that standardization, that robust guidance and regulation that would help them in order to know what's the right way to do this. Essex wants to create garden communities and garden towns because we want to have the opportunity to embed and encourage and design in active travel and we will only do that by ensuring that we've got the right connectivity and we've got the right layout within new housing developments. The barrier to entry to use the tool is minimum. All you need is a web browser and it can give you the data that you need to help make evidence-based decisions around development planning from the perspective of sustainability and active travel. And it makes it clear where there's a lack of provision and also whether or not proposed sites for new developments are appropriate from an active travel perspective. The tool can be used as a way of assessing the accessibility and sustainability of sites before they are chosen. It is a major opportunity for radical change to deal with the problems that uh, the Foundation for Integrated Transport and all the professional bodies say exist in terms of what we're delivering and the integration of planning and transport. Our technology is completely scalable. We can deploy this tool nationwide and potentially even internationally. So we are seeking follow-on funding to take this project forward for a truly sustainable planning policy in the UK and beyond.